Okay, cool. So, just carrying on with Smart Mobile. This is part seven. I'm going to talk about collecting data on the device, and we'll basically be going through a little bit of icon navigation. So, basically, now we have started our patrol, and this is the main page while we are on patrol. We will always be here when we want to make an observation. But just to give you, if I click on these top three here, there's a whole bunch of icons here. When you are finished a patrol, you click this button, which ends a patrol. We will show you that a bit later. If you go on lunch break, you can pause a patrol and then resume it. We will also show you that. If you, for example, um, went from here to point A on a vehicle and then you got off and started walking. You would then change the patrol at the bottom here. So a patrol from here to point A would be on a vehicle, considered a vehicle patrol because you're still working. And then you get off and you, and you carry on, but now you're on foot. So you've got to change the patrol type. So you go from vehicle to foot. History is all your um, observations that you that you have made, etc., and the GPS will then take you to the map to show you all the information and where you've walked, etc. So we will look at these icons as we go and collect data, but just to show you what it looks like on the phone, as opposed to what it also looks like on your book. So let's make an observation. So let's follow the book. So incursion, so I click on incursion. So it says the incursion type, there's, there's someone that came in. So I click, I click on and type and I choose entrance. Then it says that two people entered. So I click on number of people and I choose the number two. I click this big orange button to take me back. It tells me what direction of travel were they going in. Okay, so it says north to south. So I choose the direction of travel. Then what type of transportation, so what kind of footprints am I looking at inside or on the ground? And in this case, it is foot. So I scroll down using my finger to find foot. There it is there. Okay, so once I have set, entered all the information in, and I'm happy with that, I click this big blue button here with the arrow pointing down, and that saves my information. So that's what, that is what you're gonna follow in order to repeat this process and go and collect a few observations of your own. Um, what we can do then is, for example, if I click here and I pause, so let's say I have a lunch break, so I pause the patrol, it says, do you really want to pause? And I say yes, because I'm going on, on patrol. I click yes, okay. So this will be the stage at which you have your lunch and all that kind of stuff good stuff, nice sami or a hamburger. And then when I'm finished my lunch and I'm about to carry on, I just click this, remember to click this big resume patrol button. Do you want to resume? Click OK. Because we want to figure out the time frame of rest. So because that's not, it is considered patrol, but it's also considered a rest period. And we want to figure out how long they are resting for. Now it's finished and we're back on patrol, back from lunch, not sleeping. Um, if I want to click here and look at the history, there is all my observations in this case that I've taken. I can go and preview it. So there it is there. If I want to look at all my points on a map of where I'm walking, I click this and I click GPS. So there it is there, and I can use my fingers to zoom in. 
as you can see, we're at Peace Parks Foundation doing this recording for you guys. Unfortunately, not in the bush, but there's the points there and I can click on um, and I can see all the points that has been taken. And obviously the blue is where I've been walking. Um, if I go back and I click that, um, I can even change the patrol type and then it will allow me to change the different settings on which I would. But I'm not going to change the patrol type for now. So the most important part of this whole thing is that when you finish patrolling, so once you've gone out and collected, and go please play in the field and go collect, you need to end patrol. This is an important part. You need to click OK and OK to make sure that it all bundles the information together in a single patrol. That way it will then allow you to get proper information, etc. If I want to view the data, so once it's ended my patrol, this will take me back to the main screen. I can left click and I can view the data the same as I, when I did there. Um, I can then click on this export data. So what it means is it's going to actually save the information. So it's packaged it and that's my patrol data there where it tells me where it's saved to. And that's the package that will then eventually come in. But the importing will be on the next video so first click close and that is data collection so have fun go out collect some data and just play around with this app it is actually very nice enjoy